What is going on Lucid fans? Welcome back to Fanatic Journey. So today I want to give you a good overview of what to expect from Lucid as far as price action wise this upcoming week and some attributing factors that's going to really cause some ripples within the broader economy. So I'm going to go over all that. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. Without further ado, let's get right to it. So starting off coming from an economic standpoint, there is a lot of data points coming out starting with Wednesday, there's CPI. And of course, CPI very much linked to inflation. So this is going to be one hell of a roller coaster. And I do most likely anticipate Tuesday to start that roller coaster because on Tuesday people are going to be starting to hedge their bets on the CPI that's going to be happening at 830 so once again just be aware of that on Thursday there is PPI and on Friday retail sales and typically the consumer data points such as retail sales has really been a big factor to move lucid sometimes in a very positive way so definitely all three of those could really play out when it comes down to lucid specific like I've been saying over over the last several weeks per se it can come out anytime so potentially gravity unveiling might come out very soon um, so in general stay tuned for that because they did also send out an email I believe it was last week just to let people know that the gravity is going to be coming in the spring and in the past at least historically whenever lucid sent those info emails it's usually within one or two weeks this is when the unveiling truly does happen so I think in general that might be a very very big pause positive catalyst for Lucid. Outside of that though, on a little bit more of a potential negative, Tesla did come out with this on the 7th, saying that Tesla cuts prices on all US models. So in general, it was just kind of selected models previously, but this wasn't necessarily just a Tesla problem like I've said in the past, it's happened to a lot of other automakers, but the fact that they are now cutting on all the models, a little bit more of a potential demand problem. Which again, whatever typically happens to Tesla does trickle down to a lot of the other uh, EV companies such as Lucid. And for instance, I already did bring this up, but Lucid is encountering its own demand problems. And unfortunately, Lucid is really stubborn about admitting that. So like I've said, I think it was in October of 2022 or a little bit prior to that, I started to say that there was most likely demand problems with the Air Grand Touring. A lot of people didn't really agree with me, unfortunately, but turns out based on the Q4 earnings they finally did admit that they are encountering some demand problems and the fact that this email was sent out to some individuals on April the 3rd isn't necessarily the most positive sign the fact that they are extending the cheaper pricing or the original pricing per se on the actual peer so I really hope there isn't any demand issues when it comes down to that but again like I said whatever typically does happen to Tesla does trickle down so most likely this is going to affect lucid at least at the beginning part of the week so like i said this whole week is going to be full of good opportunities to potentially average down if you do believe in lucid bigger picture but keep in mind i'm not a financial advisor so you guys do your own due diligence at the end of the day but like i said in previous videos shorts are very much open and willing to take advantage of all of that fear so for instance if cpi is very much negative on wednesday you will see a huge influx of shorts getting in and currently there's 144.6 million shares being shorted and that works out to be around 22.56 percent of the free float that's very significant and as I've mentioned it works out to be around 1.11 billion dollars worth so in general that's kind of significant and as far as SEC filings nothing really new in that regard no new news per se other than like I mentioned lucid laying off the 18% but in general I think the next big thing it won't be this week it's the following week I do believe on the 24th so lucid is going to be having their annual shareholder meeting and of course there is those five points that is going to be up for uh, I guess debate potentially so election of directors to ratify the selection of Grant Thornton LLP as our independent registered public accounting firm so both of which I don't think is uh, that big of a deal third one to approve on an advisory basis the compensation of our named executive officers as disclosed in our proxy statement and number four to approve the amendment in the lucid group amended and restated 2021 stock incentive plan and number five to approve the amendment and restatement of the company's current certificate of incorporation so in general i think number three and four are the potential ones that you need to kind of watch for because those have some monetary kickback eventually 
but the rest are pretty standard stuff. So in general, uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But like I said, that's kind of floating around a little bit as well. But on a technical standpoint leading into next week, it's not necessarily the best because it's been trying to transition into the higher percentile for a while now, ever since March the 21st and it's just failed. So as you can see, it's just been pounding at that door relentlessly. Normally though, it kind of pounds once or twice and then consolidates and then tries again with stronger support, but that hasn't necessarily been the case with Lucid. It's just been constantly pounding at that door. And like I said, just failing even more so on Thursday as well, it did try again. So in general, I think because of this failed technicals there is individuals out there that is turning a little bit more bearish so i've already brought this up but this one is an abnormal one so for instance this is all the options activity from thursday and you do see a total of 2.42 million dollars worth of puts versus the calls 374,000. so based on thursday there is someone out there clearly one big institution that is betting on Lucid's uh, at least short-term failure, potentially, because just this one candle between 9.05 and 9.10, there was a total of 2.01 million dollars worth of puts. So in case you guys don't know options, I highly suggest in researching them because they can be very beneficial. I've already done a little bit of a tutorial on that for basic stuff, but whenever someone does buy a put, that means they are insinuating that the stock price is going to go down. And of course, most likely it's going to be very linked to shorting or as well, someone might know about this news from Tesla and know it will trickle down to Lucid one way or another. But overall though, I'm just listing a bunch of things that is going to influence Lucid. But now I'm sure some of you are asking, okay, so what is actually going to happen as far as the stock price? So in general, if we go down here, look at the FIB level, so currently $7.70, so it is between the S1 and the pivot. So potentially, if CPI is very positive, you need to really watch for that $8.13 mark. If it can get over that, then in theory, it can stay within this range between most likely the 890. I don't feel given the data points that is coming out that there's enough justification to get over this $9 range. But of course, I could be very much wrong. But most likely because of all the failed technicals, the whole risqueness of CPI, especially retail sales, and as well with this whole Tesla debacle, once again, um, I think in reality, it will actually be testing this $7 and 36 cent uh, sooner than it tests this eight dollars and 13 cents but of course i could be very much wrong about that so in general i think that's still fairly healthy though the fact that it might consolidate and push down a little bit it might actually truly be able to consolidate and try again because like i said what's been happening is just relentless pounding whereas normally it's very positive to see this kind of scenario happen where it does kind of consolidate tries again more the step ladder approach as long as this kind of downtrend and consolidation does not break the previous low uh, from the trough then in general things are still fairly optimistic so like i said i do anticipate going into next week a little bit more of a initial con consolidation because of the whole Tesla thing and it might test that 736 range as a result of that and potentially CPI but generally I do feel that the broader rest of the week will actually cause it to trend up to around the 813 range especially with stochastic being at 59 I personally feel it does need to consolidate just in that regard as well so it needs to push down consolidate and then that way it will be able to kind of reset there and potentially retest and go into the higher percentile of the boiler band so again I could be very much wrong I'm just listing a bunch of points you guys do your own due diligence at the end of the day let me know your thoughts on Lucid in the comments below and where do you see things going in the short term? Do you see it going to $10? Do you see the gravity coming out this week? Because I think I've been bringing this up for a while now and potentially it can come out anytime. Just I think a lot of people are very much excited about that, me being one of them as well. So definitely depending on the price point, gravity might be my next vehicle as well. Uh, again, depending on how it looks like because all we've seen is this kind of virtual component not actually seen a true 
prototype of the gravity. So I think there's a lot of different attributing factors and like I said, price point as well. But no matter what, let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below. Hopefully everyone had a, an amazing long weekend. But if you do like my Lucid content and want to support the growth, take a look at my memberships, link in the description below, or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen. One final thing, even though Lucid is kind of flat up, down, sideways, all over the place, take advantage of these promos I've been sharing with you with Moomoo. Link in the description below and also the comments. Just sign up for a free account and you get one free stock. Each stock is valued up to $2,000, plus you get $0 commission and free level two data. So kind of a no-brainer. Let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below. And without further ado, appreciate you guys watching. Let's all make a lot of money on Lucid.